Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. In today's video, we are going to be doing our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. This one is again from Nashville, Tennessee. I've been getting a lot of Nashville boxes lately, but they haven't been too bad, so I will not complain. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I see that everybody has really been enjoying my shorts videos of thrifting with my family. It's always a lot of fun to do that as a family. And let me know if you guys want to do a longer video where I go in and we all thrift together. So let's go ahead and do our first look. All right, it looks like we have some costume pieces maybe. Colorful box. Let's go ahead and dive in. If you are new to this channel, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button. We will be doing our October giveaway next week, so keep a lookout for that. And let's go ahead. Okay, so first up, let's look at this nice chunky... necklace if we can get it unwrapped okay this is a really nice chunky necklace it's got like almost these little like marbled pendants here i love these what is that i cannot recall at this very moment in time but this is a very nice necklace and i think i have sold this brand before it's an excellent condition. Really nice metal on there. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of glue on the back end of this. Yep, just a little bit of glue. I can clean that up. All right, next is going to be... Looks like a broken seed bead necklace that's going to go in a lot. If you're interested in a lot piece, I sell them for a dollar and under. I also sell lot boxes. So if you're interested, you can email me. My Etsy, my Poshmark, and my email is all in the description below. Oh, I love this. It actually like jingles. I love the jingle on it. Don't see any markings. This is magnetic. I like it though. I'll do this one for two. Ooh. This is a lovely bracelet. Beautiful work on the inside as well. Don't see any markings. Beautiful, beautiful work. This is in really good condition. A lot of the times these get damaged and this one looks really wonderful. It is missing a catch chain, but otherwise it looks to be in a little bit of stuff on there. Otherwise in good condition. Beautiful piece. Let's see if I can unhook the big hoops. Just a little bit easier. There we go. I think I did see a marking. Okay, I do have a mark. JCM China. And JCM China. Okay, don't see any other markings. That's it's not magnetic, so I'll do a little bit of research and see what JCM stands for. Beautiful pair of hoops, though. All right, lovely tasseled statement necklace. I like all the jewels on there. It's gonna be a bright one. That bold red and these other 
little beads on there. I'll do this one for three. It is a longer necklace. Okay, pretty earring. Magnetic. Let's hope for a match. Tennessee has a lot of unmatched earrings. But I think last week we had Tennessee as well, and it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I think we had a couple matches. All right, little cat earring there. I love the three different figures to make up the cat. Very cute. Stretchy bracelet. I'm going to put that in a lot. It's like the dyed wood look. I'll do this one for two. All right, another nice statement necklace. All right, looks like this one is missing a couple stones, I think. Maybe just this one, or maybe it's supposed to be like that. I almost can't, I can't really tell. Good condition otherwise. I will do this one for two. Lovely dangle earring. Another really colorful, fun earring. Tassels. I'm gonna put that in a lot. I also had some trouble this week with some of my packages. Some of the invoices were getting sent to junk and to the trash folder. So if you do not see an invoice from me after I said I've sent one, please make sure to reach out to me and let me know and we will solve the problem together. All right, this is an awesome, like, I think it's a koi fish. I love that design. Beautiful little jewel in there. Let's test it. Oops. And that glass range. Oh, I really love that necklace. It's in good condition. It's stretchy on the fish, so it's nice and comfortable. Some really nice wearable pieces so far for Tennessee. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. All right, I don't see any markings on the beaded, black beaded necklace. This would be fun for Halloween. I don't know if this is broken though. It almost looks broken. Yep, it is broken. It's supposed to have like another little lever in there to hold it tight into there and it's missing one of those too. So I'll put that in a lot. Like that one, no markings. There's the other colorful one that we found in the beginning. All right, it's missing one of those fake pearls. We're gonna put that in a lot. Lovely earring. Alrighty, more and more earrings. I like this little bead in there. I like the bead, I don't really care for the rest of the necklace, but I do like the bead on there, very pretty. Wooden bead necklace, I'm gonna put it in a lot. Another statement necklace, I'll do this one for two. You're always gonna find your best prices on my YouTube channel. 
I always try to give you guys the best deals for showing all of your love and support. I always appreciate you guys sharing your knowledge and just your kindness. You guys are seriously the best. I love hearing from all of you. I do read all of your comments. I'm always struggling to keep up to comment back to everybody, but I promise I will be replying to each one of you. All right, I'm going to put that in a lot. All right. Oh, look at the earring. I like the bright beads. This might be something I give to my niece or maybe my daughter. Both of them love jewelry, I think almost as much as I do. So I love to share with them. We'll see. I love the beadwork on this. Beautiful beads. The markings on that bangle. If you don't hear me say what I'm doing with the piece, I am going to put it in a lot, lot piece if I don't give you a price. It's a very sharp star. I made out of like mother of pearl or something. Look how sharp that is. It's very, very sharp. Beautiful, but very sharp. This looks like an anklet. It looks pretty big to be a bracelet. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. So I'm going to put it to the side. No markings on that one. All right, not too many tangles so far for Tennessee. We've done really good. So I appreciate Tennessee giving me a break from some of those tangles because sometimes it is just outrageous and it takes me so long to get one of these videos done. All right, I can't tell. I think I, I was assuming this is broken maybe. Oh, yeah, okay, it came off there. All righty. That is really nice condition. That would be an easy fix. Just pop that chain back on. I will do this one for two. I love the beads on there. Also, if you buy two items or more from me, I will give you a discount for that. So always encourage you guys to bundle. It's less shipping costs for everybody. All right, this is Premier Designs. I like the, the beads. They are magnetic. I'll do this one for five. Can't tell if there's wear on there. It does look like it's got some wear. I don't know if I can just wipe this down, though, and clean it up a little bit. Little crown brooch. Looks pretty beat up. I'm going to put it in a lot. Natasha. I think I've had that brand before. Very sparkly. I love the tortoise shell. I'm assuming this is also an anklet. It's pretty big. I guess it could be either or. I'm sure you could do it either way. It's very thin. I like the design though, and I will do this for two. The clasp has a little bit of wear on it. Broken earring, I'm assuming. Lovely little J. Or tea. I mean, these tangles are just falling apart today. How lovely. Magnetic wrap bracelet. I'm going to put this one in a lot. No markings on it. I'm going to put this necklace in a lot. Earrings. 
925. I love that. Something about a little simple earring that looks so elegant. Very beautiful. All right, I'm going to put that in a lot. Yeah, put that in a lot. I love the colorful necklace. How fun is this? With the big old jewels. Oh my goodness. It's got a little chip on the stone right there. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. A lovely little costume piece. This is going to be a hard one not to give to my niece or my daughter again. Uh, it does have a little bit of wear on the side. So I think I'm going to give it to one of them. I do love this necklace. It's hard not to keep for myself. So it'd be a really fun necklace to wear. Very thick bracelet. No markings. Got that really pretty blue. I think it's just plastic. Let's try. Yeah, I think that's just plastic. I will do this one for eight. Very nice and sturdy. It is magnetic, but very sturdy. All right, earring. I like the jewels on there. It's very shiny. I love this, the spiral earring. It looks sterling. It doesn't have any marks that I can see. It's not magnetic, so I'm gonna go, I think that's sterling. Very cool design, I love that. Very magnetic. West Germany, upside down. With the engravings in there. I will do a little bit of research on this one to make sure I've got the right price for it. Very cool bracelet. Put that one in a lot. This is a nice one. Oh, I got a mark. Napier, beautiful costume Napier piece. I will do this one for seven. It's fairly small bracelet. Put that in a lot. A D earring. Oh, kind of looks like an opal in there. The metal doesn't look great. Let's test this little tiny stone. Oops. Ah. It says glass. Let's just read what this opal's reading. Glass as well. It's got the shine to it. It's definitely got that little sparkle, little opal sparkle, if you can see it in there. Let's see if it'll focus. You can barely see it in there. You can see my ring light. So interesting. Feels a little magnetic too. So I'm going to go with this as a fake. We are almost through with this box. We've got one little pile after this and we're going to be done. Oh, I love this bracelet. This cuff bracelet. It's just a plastic jewel in there. I'll do this one for five. Doesn't seem to have very many scratches on it. It looks in really good condition. I got another star. Stretchy band bracelet. Little plastic stones in there, missing a couple of them. Let's see what we're working with on this. Hmm, I'm gonna put this one in a lot.
Got a bracelet wrapped into this chain necklace. Looks like we have a marking. Is it JJ? Looks like there's a JJ. It's got a little stone on here too. Reading glass. Let's see if I can show you on the micro on the loop. So there's that marking on there. JJ. It's like a ring with a JJ. It's a nice necklace. It is magnetic. So I'll do some research on that one and let you know the pricing. It's looking like stainless steel to me. About to come apart on that one. Let's test these little stones. Glass again. I will do this one for two. Beautiful gold toned little cuff bracelet. Very pretty. I love simple pieces. Not magnetic, but I feel like it just needs to be wiped down. It looks like it's got a coating on it. Very pretty though. I'll do this one for eight. God is good bracelet, or God is love. This is faith, love. I'll do this one for two. Chain link necklace in good condition. I'll do this one for two as well. I like the little stones on this one. I don't think we've gotten a match for this. Almost looks like jade, yeah. I think it might be some jade on there. Maybe. It's not quite getting up there, but it does give me some jade vibes to it. Let's hope for a match for that one. So it is very hard for me not to give this to my daughter because she loves Hello Kitty. Hmm. Just it says seventy six ten, Sanrio. Oh, Hello Kitty on there. I don't think it's missing any either. Reading glass. I will do this one for eight. My daughter is very much a little fashionista. She's been super fun to video with. Um, she's just, she's so lively and she knows what she wants. And I love doing my little thrifting videos with my kids and shows other moms that you can do it. I have three kids and I go thrifting with them all the time and they enjoy it. And it's really fun to do as a family. All right, again, I cannot remember this. I think it's the same as the other necklace. I cannot remember this brand. So you guys help me out. What is that brand? I like this necklace. Nice chunky necklace. Nice condition on that. Earring. Oh, I think we have a visitor. Yes, sweetie. Hi. Oh, I think he knew what was up here. She's supposed to be downstairs with Daddy. Yeah. Daddy gave me popcorn and, and chips. Daddy gave you popcorn and chips. Okay. And, and, and candy. Oh, you're just telling on your daddy, huh? Alrighty, up next is a very magnetic bracelet. My daughter has decided she wants to sit in and watch. We'll see how long she lasts. Earring. Very colorful earring. 
it's got a marking on it. It's an it's another dangle earring on there. Let's see what it says on the back of this. It's uh, the Babble Bar. Hope for a match. A coin. Okay, this is George. 1941 with the pirate ship on it. And then 1942, 1950, 1951. All right, so this is gonna be a nice coin charm bracelet. I love that. I will do some research. I've sold coin bracelets before and they go usually for 20 to $30, just depending on the year on the coins and all that good stuff. So we shall see what I will sell that one for. All right, magnetic. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. Another lively earring. I think it hooks into itself over there. All right, next. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It says glass. Okay, it's not magnetic. We've got all the rings on today. All right, I like that. All right, a lovely ring. And let's check the size on that one. All right, we got a size nine and a quarter. All right, looks like maybe we had a match to that other earring, but it doesn't have that heart in the center. More earrings. Okay, my my husband came and got little Maggie. She just loves getting into this jewelry. So All right, I love that earring. Nice and bold. It's going to be in that glass range. Very beautiful piece. We have not found, I think maybe but one match so far to be expected. I'm going to put this one in a lot. That's going to go in a lot as well. We're getting down to the very bottom now. I'm just going to dump it out. All right, we got a lot of loose little beads. Earring. Earring. Necklace. Magnetic. I like the little ties on there. I'll do this one for two. leather with the mixed metals. We'll do this one for five. It's a very beautiful little charm. It says Katie. Glass. All right, it's pretty nice. Doesn't feel magnetic. I'll do a little bit of research on this one. Love that jewel in there. Earring. Be brave. Love life. Little leather bracelet. I'll do this one for $1. Oh, I love this bangle. And it does have a mark. Or Fornash. Fornish. It is beautiful. Loving that bangle. Great condition. I love it. Little seed bead. 
bracelet. Lovely little hummingbird earring. Tennessee is playing with my emotions with all these gorgeous earrings and no matches. Same with this one, another gorgeous earring. So if you get the matching box to mine that has all the matches, please be sure to email me. Got a lovely shiner there. All right, I did not find the match to the other one earlier. This is the match to that other earring. So I think we have two matching sets now. Oh, this is beautiful. It almost looks like a, I guess that's a pen, right? It's a ribbon on top of this little jewel. Glass and glass. Another pin, little angel. Maybe some sea glass. Ooh, and a mystery hair. Nice sea glass. All the little earrings. Oh, look at that shiner. Big old chunk, chunky earring there. I think that was on one of those bracelets that was missing. Ooh, what's this one? It's got a little marking on it. It's a little angel. Just says keep away from children. It is not magnetic. Fake pearls, beautiful brooch though. Lovely vintage brooch. All right, and now last but not least, I think I see a 925 mark on there. China 925CZ, it's got like a FCCZ. Well, this is gorgeous. Oops. All right, we got a glass one. It actually matches my other ring so well. This one's actually diamonds that I found in a Goodwill blue box. Maybe I could stack it. Ugh. We'll see. Maybe my fingers aren't so pudgy. <laughs> all right, so thank you all for watching. We found some really beautiful, awesome pieces. Maybe some vintage pieces. And again, I hope you guys can join in for my shorts video. Make sure to watch next week for our jewelry giveaway. And as always, thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time.